Ahoy once again indie warriors, welcome to I Dream of Indie Games, Old Gamer Joe here again to look at 10 amazing brand spanking new indie game releases for the week of April 15th through the 19th of 2024. Nice weather has finally arrived, at least where I live, so I might be taking my Steam Deck to a park this weekend to enjoy some of these sweet titles. As always, we thank you so much for supporting independent content and helping to make shows like this possible. Do consider heading over to patreon.com slash games to help bring greater visibility to indie releases and to allow us to continue making great independent content. You'll gain Discord access, early ad-free shows, shoutouts at the end of every video we produce, a brand spanking new podcast, and even free games depending on the tier you select. Your new indie gaming community is waiting for you. Before we get into the list, we've got a little bit of a bonus game for you. That's right, Dream Tech has been kind enough to sponsor this week's episode, and so we're here to talk about a hoverboard action roguelite title. That's right, you heard me, hoverboarding and roguelite craziness. How sweet is that? Overrider is currently on Kickstarter, seeking funding from great indie patriots just like you. Did you love the SSX series back in the day? So did we, and good news, it was one of the major influences of Overrider. Glide and ride in this awesome looking adventure as you craft new gadgets and battle evil robots, all while being firmly attached to your board. Bash into your foes, pounce on their heads, bomb the hell out of them, or even blast them with your super powered futuristic gun. Equip new skills and weapons the further you progress, with the developer working to add more and more in the future. Not only will you be mowing down metal, but you'll look good doing it. Overrider will have an assortment of different tricks that can be performed which will help to improve your score and level you up. Take down massive bosses and finish them off with an ultimate attack. You'll be playing as Vyra, a talented inventor tasked with saving the world across randomly generated levels that will always keep each run feeling fresh. Does this all sound awesome to you so far? It sure does to me. Well, what are you waiting for then? You can head over to the Kickstarter page right now and help to make the game even better. You'll unlock more drones by donating, more weapons, more everything. We don't get a ton of games like SSX, Jet Set Radio, or Tony Hawk, so we gotta make these opportunities count, folks. Please use the link in our description box below to help fund Overrider today. And hey, don't take my word for it, because Overrider does have a free demo available on Steam as well. See? Now you'll know I was telling the truth about how awesome it is. Once again, a very special thank you to Dream Tech for sponsoring this video. Please check out the links below. And now, it's on to the indies. Alright, plugs are out of the way, sponsor is done, let's get into the list. So did you play the original Scheming Through the Zombie Apocalypse, a cartoony point-and-click adventure by any chance? Well, good news if you did, because Episode 2 is coming on the 15th and has a demo available on Steam as we speak. Hank and Larry are at it again in this comedy adventure where you'll need to convince other animal creatures to do your dirty work. Your main goal? To do as little work as possible and still get paid. Sadly, I know quite a few people that fall into that category. Voice acting sounds quite good and I'm really digging the art, so I guess I'll need to go back and play episode 1 before checking this one out. Next we're going to head back to the 1950s with My Hotel Echoes of the Past. Take control of a mysterious hotel that is in desperate need of repair. Gameplay goes beyond the hotel itself, however, as you'll encounter various strange guests, with many of them not having the best of intentions. While I'm not personally a huge fan of this genre, I know a lot of you out there just love managing things in video games, and I can say at the least thematically, this one seems pretty cool. Let's move along to a city builder next, though this one has a bit of a card game element to it as well. This is Vertical Kingdom, which is also launching on the 15th, Rebuild a world devastated by war and violence, taking on roguelite expeditions. Towers are created through the game's card system, so this will certainly be a thinking man's game. Visuals look pretty sharp, and the gameplay does appear challenging, so fans of the genre take note. One of the more fascinating titles releasing this week is Harold Halibut, which reminds me a bit of the old Wallace and Gromit art style. Very cool stuff. This cinematic adventure takes place across an alien ocean and will put players in control of the scientist Harold. A story of love and compassion, Harold will come across many allies through his adventure with the game featuring phenomenal animations and a very intriguing premise. I'm very much looking forward to trying it for myself. 
Didn't get enough spider burning insanity in the first game? Well, no worries. Kill It With Fire is back in this bigger and badder sequel, Kill It With Fire 2. This one will be heading into early access this week. Enjoy the game solo or tackle the campaign in co-op, a feature that I always love to see. There's also a PvP mode and the ability to play as the spiders this go around. The devs are also looking to up the game as far as new weapons go, new gameplay elements, and more spiders than ever before. I guess you're probably not interested in this one if you don't like spiders. Yet another early access release will be the very exciting looking action platformer Biogun. Play as Beck on a quest to save puppies from a nasty virus that's spreading. Featuring 360 degree shooting, colorful visuals, and a pretty good assortment of side objectives to take on, Biogun will be available on the 16th for players to enjoy. Take me back to the 80s, please! Ooh, I get to do that in this next release, Retro Wave World, a game that lets you cruise around a neon-soaked world while blasting your favorite synthwave tracks. Over 50 of them, in fact, nice! Enjoy the cool ocean breeze, or maybe stop by your local arcade. Players can customize their cars, make special deliveries, and even invest in real estate. Looking rad and should only improve as development continues, this one also being in early access. Do you enjoy traditional top-down Zelda-style action games? Who doesn't, right? Those are so good! Perhaps I can interest you in checking out King's Grave on the 17th. A nasty disease is spreading the lands, and now it's up to you, the king, to restore greatness once more. Alright, so we've heard that story a million times, but this game still does look really fun with tons of abilities to learn, shadow creatures to slay, and a massive world full of treachery and brain-tickling puzzles. As we get to the bottom two, we have No Rest for the Wicked from the legendary Moon Studios, responsible of course for the Ori games. Another early access release here and a different style of game for the developer this go around, as No Rest for the Wicked looks to be more of a soul style RPG. The dark brooding story, very intense combat, and impressive visual style have us licking our chops in anticipation of getting our hands on it very soon. And last but not least, coming to PlayStation, Xbox, and the PC on the 18th, we have an online adventure across the great ocean and filled with pirates. This is Age of Water. Sail a massive open world, rich with new areas to discover. Gain resources, build your own boat, and battle fierce pirates with your friends, all from the safety of your own home. Ooh, that's better than being lost at sea. Featuring PvE and PvP, Age of Water should have plenty of content for both PC and console players, so get ready to set sail. And that's gonna do it for this week, folks. 10 awesome looking indie releases. As always, we appreciate you greatly, and you gotta let us know down below which of these indies you'll be picking up this week, if any of them. Patreon.com slash IDreamOfIndieGames to support independent content like this. Subscribe, like, do all those great things, hit the bell notification, a lot of you aren't doing that, come on now! Voice to the voiceless, I'll see you on the channel for more great indie gaming content.